Well, hello everyone. Welcome to HappyMath.com. Today, I'm going to explain how to initiate final project assignment number one. So throughout the final project assignment number one, you would choose one quantitative topic and write a short paragraph based on the following steps. And this project is based on surveying people. Okay. So you see all total seven different steps. Step one, determine your topic. And step two, collect 30 samples with both genders. Step three, you create a frequency table with a sixth class. And step four, create a histogram. Five, find the central tendency. Step six, to create the box plot. Step seven, find the variance and the standard deviation. Okay. Then what kind of topic can be your quantitative topic? The quantitative topic can be age, weight, height, or number of classes taken this semester, and number of siblings, or commuting time between home and school, and number of hours per week studying statistics. If you don't have your own quantitative topic, then I recommend you may choose one of these topics. Okay, so from now on, I will show you how to collect data. And uh, since we collect the data, then how to create a histogram and frequency table and other features. We following all these kind of steps. I'm gonna using Excel program, I will show you. So as you see, I collected 30 random samples here. Okay. In this case, uh, if you are doing maybe BMCC campus, then you can choose any random 30 students, or you can include uh, everyone, and you can also uh, take survey from the faculty as well. But remember, you are collecting both genders. Those data I did randomly, and this is just an example, okay? Now I'm gonna show you how to create that histogram and frequency table first. Uh, so that's the kind of a um, little bit harder step here. So first of all, you need to click data. Then you can see data analysis here. If you don't see that, then you need to click another video. I just make a short video that how to add data analysis add in on Excel program. Okay, so please watch it. It's only like a one or two minutes, but it's very useful. And without knowing this, then it is impossible to continue this project. Okay, my recommendation: we will organize this data either ascending or descending order. But I like usually ascending order. So what I wanna do, I click entire column A, and now you see that if you click home button here, then you will see that uh, this button, sort and filter, uh, I'm gonna use this button and click that sort smallest to largest. That's what you are doing. Okay, then before I just go back, then before it was um scramble, so without ordering, but after I click this button and the sort smallest to largest, uh, now it is organizing based on ascending order, right? Okay, and now we are gonna find out how our uh, class width. So how to find the class width? So I'm gonna title class width. So class width means we have uh, we subtract from the largest data to smallest and divide by number of classes, right? So don't forget to make an equal sign. The Excel usually we make an equal sign here and open parentheses and create the largest data, which is 35 here, and minus smallest 
and close the parentheses and divide by six because uh, our project we want to do based on six class, right? After finding this value, what do we do? We always round up. Even though you got exactly three, still round up, which means taking next number here. So this time, the class will become four. So I'm going to input here round up. Okay. So far, so good. Okay. Then let's create that the lower bound and upper bound limit value. So I put lower here and upper here. And the lower limit always starts from the smallest value, which is 15. Okay. So this becomes 15 here. And now the following lower limit value is added to class width from this uh, previous lower limit value. So this equal to this value plus 4 this time. Okay, so make a shortcut. Just making two uh, highlight here and then scroll down. 3, 4, 5, 6. Then it automatically... Oh, sorry. I say uh, just using uh, this value and the scroll down here, then you can get those values here. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, and upper limit I can make always one less than from um, next to lower limit. So this minus one, and I can make until here because of this last column. If I scroll down, then you know, minus one here because there's no data here, right? That's the reason. So I'm gonna put this equal to this plus four because when you also look at upper data, uh, upper limit data differences, then you will get always four. That's why. Okay. So we're almost there to create the histogram. Right. Then now please click data. And now click data analysis. And now you see histogram here, right? So, okay. Then it will ask you input range and pin range. Imp input range means data set. So I'm going to add if, with the title and then click enter data. And pin range means our upper limit value. So just uh, input upper limit. All right, then I'm gonna make a label here. And also chart output so that we can see both uh, frequency value and the histogram chart. So, okay, then you will get this histogram and then upper limit with frequency value. Okay, so far so good. All right, then what I wanna do, I'm gonna copy this and go back to our original data set. And then input here. And now you see lower limit and upper limit frequency. And I'm gonna just copy down histogram as well and go to um, this section so that now I have everything. But you know that the histogram usually are uh, touching each other because um you know histogram means um always there's no gap. Between each bar, right? So then now click right bar and then make format data series. Then now you see here now gap width is uh, 150% just to make uh, around zero. I'm gonna say maybe one percent so that I can see at least some boundary value like that. Okay, if you don't like um this color, then you can click um Double click then, you see design, then you can choose any other, many other graph here. But remember, you still adjust their column so that they're touching each other, okay? But I'm not going to do it. Uh, so then just do it again. Okay, then they're touching each other. 
So now we create a until histogram. So I'm going to continue the next part of um, the final project assignment number one. Okay, so please keep watching next video as well. So I hope this video helped you a lot to initiate the project final project number one. And then you watch all other following videos and got a good grade. Okay. All right. Thank you for joining these lessons. And then I will see you with a different video. Bye.